What is up everybody, Proper here, and today it is very early in the morning, uh, so that's why I'm a little quiet right now, uh, but this uh, this article comes from The Guardian, and oh my goodness, this uh, this story was uh, brought to me, uh, brought to my attention by uh, a friend of mine, Lethal Lightning, a huge shout out to him, thank you for telling me about this, uh, Meryl Streep, we hurt our boys by calling something toxic masculinity. The actor has taken issue with the phrase, saying that such labels block communication and that women can also be toxic. Um, Alyssa, I'll just say straight up out of the gate, I am not a huge Meryl Streep fan. I never have been. Uh, I am not a big fan of Oscar bait movies, to be perfectly honest. And uh, yeah, I know I'm in the minority here when I say that. And, you know, but either way, it, it, no matter what... It, Despite that, Meryl Streep is a huge name, and having people like her uh, discuss these issues, because she does have a lot of pull in Hollywood, She uh, her words carry so much weight that it is very important when high-profile celebrities speak up on this that we bring it attention and we support it if this is something that you agree with. Uh, especially. And uh, Meryl Streep has criticized the phrase toxic masculinity. They say it, it. Jesus. Improper! Okay, where was I? She criticized the phrase toxic masculinity, saying it is offensive to men. We hurt our boys by calling something toxic masculinity, she said. Women can be pretty effing toxic. It's toxic people. Streep was speaking at a panel discussion about the forthcoming second season of female-fronted show Big Little Lies, and brought this issue up after co-star Nicole Kidman recalled a male fan telling her about his enjoyment of the first series. Wow. All right, then. And uh, Meryl Streep uh, continued, We have our good angles and we have our bad ones. I think the labels are less helpful than what we're trying to get to, which is a communication, direct, between human beings, we're all on the boat together. We've got to make it work. Absolutely. That, that, is, that is a beautiful statement. We are all on the same boat together. Uh, we are all human beings, and we shouldn't be generalizing people based on their gender or based on their race, because it's very harmful to our society, and I think it's a huge mistake. I, I, I could not agree more with Meryl Streep. I never never in a million years thought that I would be agreeing with something that Meryl Streep said or that I would be just so happy about a any news about her, because, yeah. <laughs> well, Streep is one of Hollywood's most visible and impassioned champions of women's rights. She is a spokeswoman for the National Women's History Museum and in 2015 announced she was funding a screenwriter's lab for female writers over four... Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, calling her, uh, you know, saying that she's she has internalized misogyny or like whatever people are going to try to spin this. Uh, yeah, that's BS. She has been um, a huge champion uh, for uh, for feminists and for uh, for female actresses and screenwriters, and uh, um, has had uh, some choice words uh, with the president as well. Um, but yeah, I I just cannot I. What kind of weird parallel universe are we living in? Wow, um, but but yes, this is amazing. Uh, no matter no matter whether whether you like Meryl Streep's movies or not, it is very important to highlight uh, these uh, sort of th these things that that happen and that occur. And uh, I'm I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy with this. A mother of three daughters, and I mean she Streep in 2013 rejected the label feminist in favor of being described as a hu humanist. The same year she, uh, she cameoed as um, Emmeline uh, Pankhurst in the film a Suffragette, and while promoting the film, drew attention to the scarcity of female film critics on the aggregate site Rotten Tomatoes, which has since adjusted its criteria. Last year, she was one of the founding members of the Time's Up initiative to protect women from harassment and discrimination. Yeah. Yes, uh, so I was wrong <laughs> just a second ago. Uh, I did not know that she rejected the label feminist, and it was literally right in front of me. Wow. Improper! Yeah, uh, this is amazing, and it's really nice to have a uh, Hollywood celebrity have their head uh, outside of their ass, <laughs> to be frank. Wow. 
Uh, this is amazing. Anyways, uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this. If you like this video, hit the like button, and if you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button. My feelings won't be hurt. Anyways, uh, everyone, uh, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications. And uh, thank you all so much, and have a great day.